Um, that is more relevant. Keep in mind that, that that kind of thing would typically get done in a piece of test code. Okay? And as such, you know, that's kind of contrived. Here's what's, but, but that illustrates this, which is more practical, which isn't the exact same thing to what you said, but it's similar. I don't like, I'm going to try writing on the board today because it doesn't always show up good. On uh, reader. So you're saying animal A equals new dog. It's going to create a dog object out on the heap. That animal A is a pointer to uh, it. You'll be constrained to only see the methods that exist on the animal level. So you could not call A bark, for example, because bark presumably would be on the um, dog level. All right. Now, the reason you would do this, the reason I could think of, is if later on in your code, a is now a cat. Or animal C equals new cat A equals C. You'd be You'd be allowed to do that then, or you couldn't do that before. Now, this really comes in is if you have a method uh, you have a method to feed an animal. All right. So we have a veterinarian care. A veterinarian tech assistant class that has a feed animal. So we'd have the feed and it would accept as an argument any animal. And then you could call in vet tech v equals new vet tech Then you could say animal D equals new dog. And then you could say V dot feed D. So we're not doing exactly what you described, but we're treating a dog only on the animal level as opposed to on the dog level. Yes? Yeah. Well, those two statements aren't mutually exclusive. All object variables are pointers. So yes, it sees as a pointer. It is a pointer to a dog object. So if there was a, so if, if feed, if there was a method on the dog object that overrode the animal object's method, you would get the dog's version of that method. However, you could not call any methods that existed only on the dog that didn't exist on the animal. So that's sort of the notion of polymorphism. You're always going to get the right method. All right? The question is, is, can I call a particular method or not? And you can only call a method defined to the level that the variable is declared on. Whatever the object is, though, is the object. So you'll get that version of the method. All right, good questions. Let's look at a, 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 an old saying that was either said by Confucius, Benjamin Franklin, or some 
unnamed Chinese person, according to this, according to my extensive research, i.e. the last five minutes research on the topic. One of my professors um, told me this uh, in one of my education classes. And when I see a quote like this that's attributed to like famous quote makers like Ben Franklin and Confucius, I'm thinking someone just made this up. And then to give it some credibility, they tacked someone else's name on it. But anyhow, tell me and I will forget. Teach me and I will remember. Involve me and I will learn. Okay, so that's a, or I'll understand is the alternate way of, of saying that. So, here's what I plan to do in terms of a review. You have a midterm coming up next week, which will be online. All right, you don't have a new programming assignment, so you can catch up on the other ones that are due, and you can also use uh, the time to work on the midterm. Um, in terms of a review, we're going to address the review this way. All right. First of all, we're going to cover everything up to and including the stuff that we did last class. Okay. And for review, what I'm going to do is I promise there would be no new lab, but I'm going to give an activity that you folks can work on uh, during the lecture time for this class and next class at least, and maybe even next Wednesday, depending on how it goes. Yes? To the degree that we've covered polymorphism, yes. And that would be like what we just talked about there. Okay. So here's what I want you to do. And I, I encourage you to work in groups. There's six people here today. So you could divide up into nice groups of two or maybe even groups of three. But groups of two are a nice, um, nice division. All right. And I want you to solve this problem. I want you to create a class. All right. Or, or I'm not going to tell you what I want you to create. It's your job to figure that out. So. Because we are in a Java, you know, because we're in a Java course, you are going to be creating classes, right? Because all your code is in classes. But that's all I'm going to tell you. Oh, now we have an odd number of students. You have to go and find another. Yeah. No, I'm just, just kidding. Here's a problem to solve. There are drivers. And by drivers, I mean drive a car. All right, not like software drivers. All right, these drivers have a few attributes. You know, these drivers, what we want to know, we want to know their name. We want to know their driver's license number. And we want to know when their license was renewed. All right. So drivers, um, we want to know their name, their driver's license number, and when their license was last renewed. All right. It costs $35 to renew a license. All right, and licenses need to be renewed every four years. All right. We also have, and again, I have no idea if this is like the law in Ohio or not. I just made this up. All right, so don't you know? Don't argue with me and tell me. Well, no, actually, this is the way it works. I don't care. This is how it works in the state of Zellers. All right. There's other drivers, so like be a taxi driver or a bus driver or whatever. 
There's a, there's a different license for that. It's, it's, a, it's a different kind of license. All right? And if you have a commercial license, you also have your regular license, too. So it's not like an extra license. It's that, you know, your license is a commercial license as opposed to a plain old license. The cost for these, according to the rule of governor's hours, is more than a regular license. All right, and you probably you have to pass some tests or whatever, but that's beyond the scope of this project, the, the test taking and all that. This is more of a registration system. This assumes that you, that the testing has been done. All right. These licenses are include Every three years. Because even though this is a hypothetical situation, this government still has a lot of bureaucracy and inconsistent laws and stuff like that. All right, just like a real one. All right, here's what I want to be able to ask of a driver regardless of what kind of driver they are. And I want to get the right answer for the kind of driver that they are. I want to know when your license expires. I want to know, has it expired? And finally, I want to know how much it's going to cost to get it renewed. Yes, there is. That was, I, I, just, I just saw a notification on my screen that that, that law just went through in Zellersville. <laughs> there is a penalty to renew it. And that penalty is... I'm trying to think of how I want to do it. That penalty is, yeah, $50. We'll show those scoff laws. The penalty is more than the cost of the license. Well, yeah. Right? I mean, that's probably not uncommon. If, you're, if you get arrested for driving without a license, you probably are going to pay more than it costs to get your license. So that's not uncommon. But you're yourself in to avoid getting arrested because the fine for getting arrested caught without a license, I forgot to mention, is $200. So it would be better to pay $50 than $200. Now, we're not going to worry about, you know, this, this doesn't contain that fee, but that's just an FYI. That makes the $50 seem more reasonable. So anyhow, the penalty for an expired license is $50, regardless of the kind of license it is. Now, what do I want you to show me? All right? I want you to design this first. That is, I want you to think about it and come up with a design for it first. What do I mean by a design? I mean a discussion of what classes you're going to have, what methods you're going to have, so what class you're going to have. And for, you can omit the unit test. I'll check that one out later. All right. Your first task is a prepared design, and that design should include what you have. 
Is there inheritance or not? What kids exist in each class? What signatures are those methods? What signatures of a method? What arguments gets called, what arguments get supplied when called, and what it returns, the data types. So for example, when license expires is going to have no arguments, right? And it's going to return a date, actually a date time object. We haven't worked on this, but this will be good for your ability to do some online checking. Has license expired, on the other hand, is going to return no, no and it's simply going to return a boolean. Cost of renewal, no arguments, well, you have the rest of the fun. Also indicate what constructors you're going to have. And indicate what attributes you're going to have. You're going to create what is created via Java docs, where Java docs can read through your Java classes and create sort of an overview of your class and tell people how to use it. So this is what I want for the first pass. If you could get this today or early on Monday, that would be great. All right. Then code it and test it. I would like to see this before. And after, after you completed that, we'll discuss what the next step is. Reviewed with me, we can discuss the next step. Um, let's see. I did say no lab assignment, but I may be willing to entertain like extra credit points or something like that. Or like voucher points for the midterm so you can skip a question if you <laughs> did this or something like that. All right, because you should get rewarded for your work on this somehow. But again, I had already committed to not having a new lab assignment. So we're going to go upstairs to lab. Or you actually, actually, we can work in here until you're ready to code. In fact, that's better because you, don't need a, you, you should not need a computer to design this. When you've designed this, bring it to me, and then I'll unlock the lab upstairs, and we can have a go. So I encourage you to work in teams, maybe two teams of two and one team of three would probably be good, so divide yourself up however you want to and begin. <laughs>